So if you're trying to beat sugar cravings, one of the best things you can do is try to avoid added sugar. So when you're checking out a label, look at sugar and then also added sugar because for example, if you eat an apple, you're not going to turn around and be like, man, I need to really follow up this apple with a ton of ice cream or soda. But that is exactly what happens with added sugars is because they are synthetically added to a, pro a food product, you know, or a meal, that is going to increase your body's desire to get more of that because it shouldn't have had access to it based on what it is. So if you take an apple, and that, a big old apple is about 26 grams of sugar you're gonna eat that apple, but it's gonna take you time. Even if you try to eat an apple really fast, it's gonna probably take you like a minute at least to eat it all. Whereas, you know, you can chug a soda in seconds. So the difference being is how long it takes you to eat it, process it, is there fiber associated with it to slow down how your body absorbs it. But all of this comes in with naturally occurring sugars versus added sugars. And if you want to find a Kingdom product that is going to help you with this, it would be having something like our Zeal um, or even our Restore. Our Restore Glutamine has um, some sweeteners, but they don't have sugar. So you could use them if you're making oatmeal and you want to add in you know, a, a sweetener, you could add in our glutamine and that would help you get a, not a, a ton of brown sugar, but you could just add in glutamine and that would make the oatmeal taste sweet. Same thing with you want to add it to your coffee or anything like that. We have a lot of customers that do that and find a lot of success with being able to, instead of adding a ton of sugar, they can add another product that will help with the flavor and the taste of something without just increasing the sugar a ton.